Hey everybody, happy Chinese New Year. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, today I'm going to do a Chinese New Year themed makeup tutorial. Let's just get started. All right, first I'm just going to prep my skin with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist to give myself a fresh start. The foundation I'm using today is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I'm using the color 120. I'm distributing it with a damp beauty sponge all over my face evenly with tapping motions. Then I'm going to conceal my blemishes and my under eye area. I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Self Setting Concealer. This is a new concealer I just bought recently. I've been testing it and really liking it actually. It has a medium buildable coverage. It's very natural looking and very light. Then I'm gonna prime my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and let it set there while I do my eyebrows. For my brows today, I'm going to take a spoolie and brush my brow hair downward to give it a more strict look. And then I'm going to fill in my brows with a dark ashy brown color. I'm gonna start with defining my brow with a straight line along the bottom and then I'm going to fill in just the tail part. Once I'm satisfied with the shape of my brows, I'm gonna go in with a brow powder to fill in the front part. This will give you a very soft and subtle brow look because we wanna focus more on the eyeshadow later on. Once I'm done with filling the brows, I'm going to set it with a clear brow gel. One small tip to make your brows look thicker is to brush the front part forward and upwards. The palette I'm using today is the Jeffree Star Blush Sugar Eyeshadow Palette. The first shade is going to be Kick Mix, which is a warm toned neutral shade. I'm using it as a transitional shade just to make sure the rest of the poppy color is going to blend in with my skin tone. Then I'm gonna use a small shadow brush and go into Cherry Soda, which is a bright red matte color. And use it to carefully and slowly carve out a wing at the outer third of my eyelid. Then I'm gonna start to build up the eyeshadow little by little and bring it inwards into my crease. I'm also using a clean fluffy brush to feather out the edges and make the color blend in a lot better. Then I'm just gonna keep blending and going back and forth with the eyeshadow until I'm happy with how it looks. Next, I'm going to give my inner corner a bit of pop. I'm just gonna go into this color called Candy Floss. It is a shimmery pink shade. I'm applying the color into my inner corner area and on the front part of my eyelids, kind of blending in with the red with a pencil brush. After that, I'm going to line my eyes with a black liquid eyeliner. This one I'm using is from Dolly Wink. I'm just following the shape of the eyeshadow. Make sure you don't make the eyeliner too thick so it doesn't block the red color. I'm also extending my inner corner by drawing a tiny little black dot. Uh, this will really elongate and uh, open up your eyes. Then I'm gonna go into the shade called Ouch. It is a khaki shade. I'm using it on my lower lash line to echo the top. This will really help with balancing the eye so it doesn't look top heavy. Then I'm gonna go back to the black liquid eyeliner again using very precise small strokes 
to give myself some falsies on my lower lashes. Because I want the focus to be on my eyeshadows this time, I'm going to skip false lashes and head right into mascara. The one that I'm using right now is the Marc Jacob Beauty Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. Now I love how voluminous and big it makes my lashes look, but my only problem with this mascara is it smudges like crazy. Even with me setting my under eye area, baking my under eye area, just nothing works. So if you guys have any tips on not smudging, please let me know in the comments. Next up is to contour and sculpt my face. I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil to bronze up my cheekbone area. I'm focusing on the outer third of my face. I'm stopping right at the corner of my eye so the bronze doesn't look too intense because we, again, we want to focus on the eye area and we're going to do a red lip. So you don't want it to be too much. Then I'm gonna switch to a clean fluffy brush to contour my nose, to make my nose look slimmer and taller. So I'm just using the same bronzer and applying to the two sides. And for the blush, I'm just going with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Kit in the color Breeze. Next up, we're gonna highlight my face, which is my favorite step. I'm using the Maybelline Masochrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Rose Gold. I'm gonna start with highlighting my brow bone area, then I'm gonna move on to my nose bridge to do a straight line down the center and a dot on the tip of my nose. Don't forget your cupid's bow and last but not least, on top of my cheekbones. I promise we are almost finished with the look. Um, now I'm just gonna line my lips with a red lip liner. This one is from Bite Beauty. I am slightly overlining here to make my lips appear fuller. Once the liner is done, I'm going to apply a red lipstick. This one is Ruby Woo by MAC. This is the Chinese New Year version. I just got it recently. I think the packaging is really cute. Now this step is totally optional. If you want, you can use a glittery eyeshadow to make your inner corner pop a bit more. The one I'm using is by Stila. It's the color Kitten Karma. And lastly, we're gonna finish up the look with some setting spray and we are complete. So Chinese New Year used to be one of my favorite festivals since I was little, um, but I don't really do it anymore since I came to Canada. It's not a thing here. So yeah, it's really great to get to do something like this to remind me of, you know, my roots and to do something festive for the season. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and had fun watching it. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.